In this video, I'm going to travel to the black lava fields on the east coast of Maui, and I'm going to shoot some panoramas, I'm going to shoot some eucalyptus rainbow trees, and I'm going to have a 10 out of 10 day. Okay, we're on the infamous road to Hana. This is like a three hour journey. It is known as being one of the world's windiest, twistiest, turniest roads. And man, is that ever true. There are apparently over 100 bridges in order to get to Hana, and practically all of them are single lane. Yeah, it takes a long time, but it is a gorgeous road. It's so picturesque. I'm just seeing photo opportunities all over the place. I wanna stop and take pictures all the time, but there's never anywhere to pull over wherever there's a good picture-taking spot. This is not the weather that we were hoping for because cameras don't like water, as I found out the hard way. But on we go. I think we've been driving like four and a half hours already, maybe even five hours this morning to get to this infamous town of Hanna. It's a lot longer than I thought. Okay, this is super cool. These are the very famous eucalyptus rainbow trees that are on Maui. And apparently they grow super fast, like they'll grow to be 100 feet tall within just seven years of being planted. But they have these awesome colors. Hopefully we'll be able to capture some of these colors with the camera here, check it out. Okay, and check out this awesome one. This is absolutely huge and it's got this really cool swing on it. Kind of makes me want to jump on the swing and start swinging, but there's no time. There's photos to be taken. The width of this trunk is so amazing. Just so many cool shapes and textures. It's made for photography. So beautiful. Just nothing like what we have back at home. Okay, so we finally just made it to Hannah and there's this state park and it has a black lava beach. We just drove through that heaviest rainstorm and thankfully it's not raining right here, but right down there is where we're headed and hopefully we can get a high res pano of that. That's gonna look cool. So I found one composition and I like it because there's a green foreground and then the middle ground or the main subject is that black sand and then the background is also green again so it frames in the black sand between two layers of, of green. The only thing I would like to be is a little bit higher up which would make the amount of black sand longer and bigger in the image. So I'm going to try and get back up this hill and see if that'll change the perspective. So I just took off the neutral density filter after shooting a couple of high res panos. What I like about this particular composition is that it's up higher than I was before. And so I see more of the black sand of the beach. And I think that's really what makes the shot because the black sand is really the main subject of the photo. The black sand and then the white surf hitting the black sand. I love that contrast of the stark white and the stark black meeting in a line. And that's definitely the main subject of this photo. So now we're gonna cross the bay and shoot back in this direction and see what kind of compositions we can find there. So we just found this amazing little bay with black lava cliffs on either side of it. And there's a deep inlet and lots of white spray and surf. The green foliage up on top, creating this amazing rich saturation of color between the green and the black rock and then the white surf. It looks absolutely amazing. I couldn't have dreamed this up. It's just so beautiful. So now my challenge is to shoot a double row panorama so that I can get a really, really high resolution image. And it's always tough to do that when there are waves moving. Can you believe this place? The beauty of it, incredible. I haven't seen anything like this before. I love the contrast between the stark 
bright greens of the foliage and then the really black lava rock. That green meeting the black just looks so amazing. And then the turquoise of the water, the white of the surf, it's like the perfect scenario for photography. So once again, I'm trying to get a high definition panorama. It's really difficult to do because of the uneven choppiness of the water. It's difficult to stitch those kind of images together, but I'm trying it nevertheless. And then for safety, of course, I always have some images that are just in landscape mode, single image shots. So I have that backup plan if the panel doesn't work out. But yeah, this road to Hannah was so worth the drive. I, I think it was five hours, I said, and the fact that we ended up here is just incredible. I love this place. So it just started to pour rain and we sought shelter underneath these palm trees here. And actually they give really awesome shelter. And I'm really hoping that the weather sealing on this Nikon D850 is as good as Nikon says that it is because it's being put to the test right now. It was raining really hard a second ago. But as we wait underneath this tree, look at this view here. It's just literally beyond words. I am in awe over how beautiful this place is. These landscapes are like nothing I've seen before. The lush tropical look and these contrasts between the greens and the blacks. I know I'm, I'm definitely uh, repeating myself, but can't help it. It's just so beautiful. So I have one more really awesome composition here of this little bay, but of course it starts raining right when I need to shoot it and all these water drops are getting on the lens and it's turning into a disaster. Really hard to shoot a panel like this. I don't know what to do. Wait, go back. I'm starving hungry. I haven't eaten in six hours. I think it's time to go back. Cut my losses. See, there's even water drops on the lens.